And I just wanted to ask uh, Dan if he can maybe share with us maybe some of the symptoms or maybe just overall general things about arthritis, especially around the knee, that might be helpful for some people who are who are listening this morning or today. So, you know, osteoarthritis, it uh, it sounds a little a little scary, a little ominous, but the, the reality is that uh, probably most of us will have uh, some measure of osteoarthritis at some point in our life. You know, it's um, as one colleague refers to it, it's it's uh, it's somewhat like wrinkles on the inside. You know, we see the signs of aging on the outside. You know, our skin gets a little bit older. Those are signs of just wear and tear and and in time. And uh, on the inside, we see the same thing, too, uh, in particular, the joint surfaces. So anywhere where two joints come together, if you could, if you think about, you know, over the years, uh, many, many days of, of uh, life and activity, um, those things start to wear down a little bit. And in, in some people, in some situations, in some circumstances, that uh, wear down might be uh, come on a little bit faster than others. Um, the. Uh, so the challenging piece about that is that a lot of people have this wear down and don't have, in fact, most people have this wear down and don't really have any pain or symptoms mm-hmm. or problems. They're completely asymptomatic. So that makes it a bit of a challenge. Um, so we identify that osteoarthritis is typically uh, symptomatic osteoarthritis. We, we uh, refer to as it causes symptoms. Um, and so those symptoms are typically you know, pain, you start getting a little bit of uh, pain, uh, usually maybe in the morning when you're a little bit stiffer, stiffness is another thing. Mm-hmm. So if you notice, man, once I get up and, and it's hard to take those first few steps, but after my joints loosen up a, a little bit, I can actually move a little bit better. I feel a little bit better. Um, but then that pain might get a little bit more severe. You might feel it as you're putting a little bit more load through the joint, like going up and down stairs or getting in and out of cars. Um, and, uh, so that leads obviously to uh, a much bigger problem where a lot of uh, individuals get to a point where they really can't do a lot of those things. And then what we call um, sort of end stage uh, disease and disease. Mm-hmm. I don't really like using the word disease because it, you know, it makes it sound like you've, you've uh, caught something really bad. Um, right. But that's just the, the technical sort of term for it. degenerative joint disease, knee osteoarthritis. Those are all synonyms. Um, and so many individuals go and uh, end up having to get a knee replacement um, down mm-hmm. the road. And so um, that's typically um, t- typically the symptoms is pain and um, and swelling probably in the, you know, start to come on in the fourth, fifth, sixth decade of life. Um, usually you don't feel it before that unless you've had maybe a... Uh, significant injury to your knee. Uh, so maybe if you've had an ACL injury in the past or you've uh, torn your meniscus, have had surgery on your knee, then you're at higher risk for uh, earlier onset of uh, arthritis. 